First of all, y'all, thanks as always for rocking with me. I very much appreciate it. I'm excited to bring you my version of U Trips. Now, the bass player we're gonna be using is Patch Cross. We're just gonna hot route that, that streak because it starts as a deep out. This play is amazing. You're gonna have the two routes cut into the outside. That's the running back and the tight end. Those are your first reads. The short dig behind it and then the deep dig on, over the top. Those are gonna be your four reads and they're unguardable. So here we're gonna go through our depth chart. I just like to have Miko Hartman as my number three. And I'm also gonna put Miko Hartman in the slot as opposed to Tyreek Hill. I, I like Tyreek on the outside. Um, he's gonna be running that, that quick dig. And a lot of times he's gonna get some space and he has grab and go. So we want him in space and we want him operating in space like that. He's also gonna be running a lot of posts. So he's gonna be going against man. Um, now these are, these are my audibles. I use tight end whip mostly against man. I use Y out mostly against zone. I keep power in. Sometimes I'll use five six trap. Other times I use the screen. So we're gonna start this against cover zero. I'm gonna show you the base play against every coverage because this is what this is what uh, makes this engine move. This is very similar to the jet six sword and single back wide trips. And I basically been looking for a shotgun version of single back wide trips. So once I came across it, I dropped everything I was doing because I wanted to get this sorted out. And this is this is my favorite offense. I'm going to be running this probably for the rest of Madden 21. I'll still put together some schemes and put out some, some content for YouTube. But this is going to be what I run myself, I think. Unless I come across something bad, which would be incredible. So you see, Miko's fast enough to beat his man over top. Whether it's, co whether it's cover zero, cover one, or cover two. I typically won't look for this against cover zero. Very similar to what I said in wide trips. Because you don't always have enough time. So if you look underneath, you'll have other reads. And against man, I'm typically, typically um, looking for the quick ones. I'm typically looking for Kelsey. I'm looking for the quick dig. And then the deep dig is there if need be. So we're going we're gonna to keep with man. We're going to go from cover zero. We're going to now check cover one. And cover one's going to be similar. Except you're not going to, you're not going to be under pressure. So against cover one, Miko beats his man. You just want to give him time to get a step on him. If you throw it too early, then the defender will be able to break off and, and make a play on it. But you give him a, a few seconds and you can beat him over top like this every time. Now we'll drop back into instant replay to see what else was open. And you'll see against man is typically going to be Kelsey because he gets out of there fast. So Kelsey's going to get open to the sidelines. Of course, Tyreek's going to beat most people on his route. And as a matter of fact, since there's no pressure, your running back's going to get out quick. So if you hit him early, you can actually make a move because against man, the running backs always get get out there um, early against whoever it is guarding them. And you can get up field so quickly in Madden 21. It's, it's a great route to throw. So now cover two, like I said, we stick with man. Now cover two, you got to give me call a little bit more time, especially depending on how he gets off the line. So you'll see right here, I do it a touch early and they make a play on it. So you really got to wait. Um, I'm not always, like I said, I'm not always going, going against, um, looking for the bomb against these man coverages unless for some reason I got a need to. You see the pressure got me, got to me there. But if I really need to, I'll definitely do it. I might just max protect or, you know, um, shift my line to the, shift my protection to the left or something along those lines if I really need to go ahead and take this shot. And there you go. See, he has enough time. Now he'll get over top and make the catch. We'll hop in and look at the instant replay again. This is going to be similar. The, the same routes underneath that beat man in cover zero and cover one are going to beat man in cover two. The only difference is the halfback is going to stay in and block against cover zero. See, so right there, the deep dig got the most of it, so that's probably where you want to go with it. So now cover two, we're, going, we're talking zone now. So against against cover two zone, um, the, the streak is much more viable because he's going to get past that first defender and the first defender isn't going to chase him, of course, because he has a zone to play. So once you see those two safeties above split, you just want to give him a second and you want to pass lead inside and you go get it. Go get it. So now here we go. We're going to jump into, into replay after every cover so we can see what's going on that underneath. Now you have a look at this. You're going to see everybody gets open. That's why I love this play so much. And because you got these two pushing zones, you got the high back and the tight end pushing zones toward the sideline. 
the quick dig ends up wide open unless the user drops back on it. And the other thing is you got two routes on the sideline, so you're gonna need more than one zone to cover. The streak's also pushing his own back, so it actually really opens up things for the quick dig. And that's why I like Tyreek out there, like I said. He, he's, he's a great option there. So now cover three. Cover three is another one that's a bit long developing, but you can do it if need be. You're just gonna wait for the single high safety to bite down. He bites down on that in-breaking route, and then you can get over the top. So now looking at the instant replay, again, cover three actually it gets is one that I'll throw the running back route very quickly because there's just tons of space. And one thing you'll find too is that the running back and the tight end do a good job blocking for each other. So they almost set up like little screens. And you'll, see, you'll probably see that in some of the foot. So I'm going to show some, some gameplay at the end of this. Now cover four drop. Cover four drops the one thing you're not going to bomb with this. Um, but I will show you a setup that I use out of um, Y out. A setup that I use out of Y out to bomb cover four later on. So here you go. And, and it's a quick snap. You just the streak and then you make your move. But here's the thing, against cover four, and I actually have a gameplay showing a, um, showing a lot of me going against cover four. Because you're going to see cover four a lot when you have Tyreek and, and Miko Harvin. A lot of people just default to cover four against these two. And it makes sense, because that's, that's how you stop the, those streaks. But look, I got four people open underneath. So if you want to call cover four drop, I'll be patient and I'll work the way, my, my way down the field. It's not always about the ball. Cover three match. So we're gonna get into the match in the match in zones now. We're gonna go from cover three match to the cover fours. So now against cover three match, you're gonna see that that bomb, the streak, is gonna get open similar to cover three. It's gonna take a minute and you're gonna pass lead inside. Again though, I'm gonna be looking to the underneath routes, but I'm gonna try this and see if I can get an example of me hitting it. Now, there he comes open, but I ran out of time. So that was just bad pocket. Let's try it one more time. Did we go, we got a minute. Yeah, no, that was too early. Yeah, see, like I said, it's long developing against some of these match coverages, and, and I really do prefer to just pick the defense apart. I have no problem picking the defense apart because eventually they'll call a different coverage and then you can bomb it. Right, so there's, there's no need to force it as I'm doing here, but it's really just to try to show you in the video that you can get it. Nope, got hit. Man, I'm getting smacked around right now. But it's okay, we're gonna try one more time. This time I did my pass protection. You see, I slid my line to the left, and that was really all I needed. That gave me that extra split second, and he gets wide open. See, so the truth is, if you're doing this in game, you, you got to figure out your protections. There's no doubt about that. So let's look and see what was open down, down below. And I can tell you right now, just from playing a few times, the running back is, is the route that you want to hit here against any cover three. You see all that field in front of him? And then Tyreek ends up wide open too, and the deep dig. So again, you got options. You're going to have at least three or four options against every defense, every coverage. Now cover four palms, just like single back wide drips, cover four palms, cover six and cover six invert. You're going to see the DB right above the slot, turn his hips inward. And once you see that, be patient, maybe give it half a second and pass lead outside. And then think about whether or not you want to celebrate because it is a touchdown. There's literally nobody in your area code. When you when you throw this against cover four palms, again cover six and cover six invert. We'll still go look at the instant replay because we want to see what's going on underneath. So these match these match coverages don't do, don't do too bad underneath to be honest. But look, you can always hit the halfback quickly, and then it's pretty much like beat a man. So you're gonna have one or two of those other routes get open every now and again, and and, it, and it's pretty random. So oh, you know what? We're gonna do it again because I threw that ball out so quickly on the on the um, streak, the first one against Paul Palms, they weren't able to really see everything develop underneath. So now we can see it all develop. And like I said, 
these routes, the running back is always going to be there. But the other three is going to randomize who gets open and who doesn't. And it's based on route running, of course, and the defenders' abilities and so on and so forth. Now, cover four quarters. Cover four quarters. We actually do a good job getting over the top on cover four quarters. And this is going to be a pass lead inside. It probably takes... It's quicker than the cover three, but it's a... It's a a beat longer than cover two and here you go see if you let it go right there you get over the top of cover four quarters so we're really really exposing a lot of defenses with this play and again this is just really the bar if you look underneath you you can easily say yeah i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go for the bomb i don't feel like i got time so i'm gonna hit the running back here i'm gonna hit tyreek here look kelsey's open as is what um sammy watkins so everybody's open so you don't have to you don't have to wait for the streak you know what i mean you, you don't want to sit there and, and take sacks waiting for the streak so now cover six like i said cover six is is a free touchdown and you see we're always going against the pats in practice and we're always going against nickel and dime defenses because we want to be going against dbs and we, we want to be going against the best dbs who the pats have So we're gonna do it again one more time just so we can see what's going on underneath. Because just with uh, just as with palms, when we throw that bomb, we throw it out so quickly we don't really have time to see the other routes develop. So if you look here underneath, again. We got four options. Probably don't want to throw the Kelsey there, but three very good options, and I'll take any of them. So now cover six invert again. It's gonna be very similar. So we're gonna be looking at the DB right above the slot. He turns his hips in. We go over top. Again, free touchdown. So we're gonna run this one more time. Just like we did before so that we can see what's going on underneath. So we're not going to throw this. We might throw it away. But we're not going to actually throw this to the streak. Even though he's wide open. Alright. So now we're going to go into instant replay. And we'll have a look to see what we got. You see these two, these two routes pushing to the side now really open things up for, for everything else if they happen to be covered. I, I, I'm gonna say eight times out of ten I hit one of these two, and then the the quick dig, and then look at Sammy. Sammy's wide open up there on the on the deep dig. Yeah, you got you got to make adjustments to cover this, and because we're just making one hot route and then snapping the ball, you don't really have time to make those adjustments. So. Your best bet against this is to, is to cause confusion and hope that I make a bad read. Because you're not going to cover all these routes. Or you could call this. I think I think I'm think i using that Dime Sugar again. And when I when I was doing the single back wide trips book. Oh, no, it's not Dime Sugar. Okay, I take it back. Never mind. In either case, he got off the edge fast. And there we go. So cover nine. You want to pass lead inside. Just like cover two, because that, that, that deep blue is gonna drift to the outside. And I think we had enough time to see everything develop under here because cover nine's a bit a bit longer than palms and six. But look at Tyreek, yeah, Tyreek's wide open. Look at um Bell and Watkins. I mean, again, you got a lot open. So here's what we're gonna do against cover four drop. Because like I said, you don't really wanna well, you don't really want to. You're not going to have that streak open. So against cover four drop, we're going to get it to nickel again or dime. Here, we're going to show it. It's not going to get open. You see, so the streak is not an option. The streak is not an option against cover four drop. I'm going to do it again, and then I'm going to show you what I do use against cover four drop. Uh, audible to so patch Y out the post on the right the one to Tyreek smart routed you don't have to do anything else of course you can put axe on an out route or come back 
but as long as you pass lead that to the outside and you do it as soon as he's crossing that um, that deep safety space or right before you're golden if you wait too long he actually sometimes stops and he'll be you'll throw an interception and you'll curse so you want to make sure you don't wait too long but this is something you just want to get into practice and you'll get the time to figure it out so here we go again smart route the post wait and let it rip right about now and you got all, all day that's your touchdown All right, so this quick dig is very interesting. Watch what he does. See, he stops in the middle of the field. Against zone, he'll stop right there in the middle of the field. Whereas if it's a hot rider quick dig, see, I hot routed him there. He'll run, he runs right through that space. So it's actually really cool because he sits down in, a, in an empty zone, in an empty space in zone, I should say. And so that's beautiful. So if you make the read too late, you can possibly still look back there as long as the user isn't there and hit him. Now against man, it's interesting. If you saw that just now, I'm gonna show you what he does against man. Against man, if he has a step, like if he's a step ahead of his man, he'll stop in about the same spot and usually roast his man because his man's gonna go about two steps ahead of him. If he doesn't have a step, if the man's in good position, here you see he carries him right across. But he'll he'll tend to stop out there around the numbers. Now I don't mess with this too much yet in game. It's something that I'm gonna I'm gonna lab a little more to see if I can figure it out. But see there. So if you time that right, you can absolutely smoke the DB. But again, I I'm not confident with it enough yet. I haven't labbed it enough yet to say I'm gonna use it, especially against man zone. Not a big deal. He'll, he'll drop in an empty zone. You just gotta see if the user's there or not. Now this time he should go straight across the field. Yeah, he does. And so it's a very interesting route. It's almost like a, a dig with an option. So I think that's pretty cool. And I think that's something that, that can be played with and messed with for a little bit. So it's worth, it's worth looking at. So, but this is why I typically go to against man, it's that tight end bit. And I'm gonna show that in a minute. So Pat's Y out versus zone. Pat's Y out is the other the other play I'll use every now and again versus zone, and I'm gonna change it up, and all I'm doing is putting that solo receiver on a, on a dig. You'll see R, B, and B, those two routes to the right, they are gonna push zones back, and the tight end's gonna be wide open. They will push back, whether it's cover three, cover four, cover two, they're gonna push those zones back, and it's just gonna be green grass in front of Travis Kelsey or whoever your tight end is every time. You see that? And that was actually a, a bad time throw, I should've done that a split second sooner. And then of course, the the backside dig is just making sure you got another option. But now the, the running back, if you hit him as soon as he is on his the upward part of his route, he'll find a spot in his zone as well. Obviously when he breaks outside, you're pretty much thinking about man. So like right there, I, I wouldn't throw that against zone unless it was a proper zone drop, like cover three maybe. But um, here, here goes the backside dig. And you can keep your eye on the post as well, of course. I mean, the, the post does things. He definitely finds space. But I'm really reading the running back, Kelsey, and then the backside dig here. That's really what I'm using Y out for. And I don't use it a lot. Now, tight end whip versus man. This I actually use a lot. Um, because Kelsey breaks inward similar to the way he does in the Pats crossplay. So a lot of users bite down on it hard and he ends up even more open against users than he does against the computer. He really, really does a good job against users. And then of course, if, if the user ends up running out there with him, I got the running back one curl behind it and you got the two posts that you can read. I mean, post do well against man this year. I, I hit the, um, the post to Tyreek a lot in game actually. So you'll see you have options. But again, this this I go to more against man than um, than use than I use wild against zone. Like zone, I don't typically come out of Pat's Cross much. Man, I'll use Pat's Cross some, but to be honest, I, I, I might even be using this more against man than I than I do Pat's Cross unless I'm trying to 
see if the bomb's there because it's just very it's very good so now we're going to go in game this drive you'll see i make i make great use of the underneath progression reads and this is just this guy was called in cover four he he stayed in cover four i'm going to show gameplay of this a full gameplay as a matter of fact because i actually came back and won this game so yeah you see cover four these two are going to be wide open and you just want to that's the running back and the tight end and you just want to take advantage of it as soon as the user jumps over there you want to throw it to the quick dig and i'm going to show you that so here the running back's wide open you take it here we go again and we just gonna spam this as, as long as as long as you, you you having a hard time with it tight ends wide open you take it and this is consistent game after game after game this is consistent this is a very very easy passing offense and that was tampa two see so he's trying to switch switch up his zones and it actually ended up bombing him well maybe once as you can see he uses casey as well so he's saying yeah i'm, I'm he's coming out in cover four so he doesn't want to be bombed and that's okay Th this offense is better against cover four than anything else as far as the progression reads Oh, this is where he switched to cover three and i was able to slip it in no nope sorry it's not it's at a different point in the game but you see so that time his usual was going towards the side of the tight end and the running back and i just waited on tyree simple easy no need to be complicated and then we can use our power run and finish it off now i'm just going to show the bombing game a couple times here there you go that was a match coverage and they just left him unaccounted for. So we'll take seven there every time. This next one's cover zero. I don't throw it much against cover zero, but this game was boring. You can see the score is 28 to nothing. So I really wanted this guy to quit. I said, okay, fine. Mm, we take one over the top. Why not? And now here we go. We're facing cover nine, pass lead inside, good hit. And now we're going to go straight from this to show you the runs, trap and power. I, I'm using power more now and and putting the screen in place of trap because I find I was using trap for inside runs and power for outside, but I find power does a good job for both and the trap's really just redundant. So here I was actually getting ready to pass here, second and eight, figured a a quick pass will work but once i see the defensive line lined up like this i don't care what formation i'm in i'm running and it worked out here i have a pulling guard with everybody else already blocked well oh, that's beautiful easy touchdown for, for left bow now th here's the thing about this that i really like because i got those two routes going to the sideline this actually makes a great two minute offense you'll see there are 39 seconds to go before half here and we're 54 yards away from the end zone but instead of juking with my running back or trucking with my tight end like I usually do, I'm gonna catch with either one of them, get as many yards as I can, and get out of bounds. That took four seconds. And I'm gonna do that over and over. And the cool thing is if it's a four minute offense, I'll do the same thing except I'll, I'll go down right before I go out of bounds. So that then I'm wasting time. So that's why I like this more than Jet 6 Soul. Because of its versatility. I'm not going to use the Jet 6 play in a two minute drive as quickly as I would this one because this one, like I said, these two routes are perfect for just getting a lot of yardage and getting out of bounds. With Jet 6 really just has the one the one route going that way and that's the, the tight end route. Now the other thing that I'll show later too is that because this has a deep dig, it's perfect at the goal line. I actually, that's a staple for me at the goal line. I put a lot of short routes underneath and have a deep dig that always gets open in the back of the end zone. And then also having Tyreek on that quick dig following behind a different crossing route is, is beautiful because most users are gonna follow the first route that crosses the face at the, at the goal line or in the field in general, but especially at the goal line. So everybody's gonna chase, Cal chase Kelsey and Tyreek ends up wide open. So it's, it's actually really, really efficient. This play can be used literally for everything. So this 32, this is where we caught him changing up his, his zone. I'm pretty sure this was it. Let's see. Yep, there we go. There goes the touchdown. And this dude stayed in that couple four for 90% of the game. But that was that was the 
the shot that got him off it. Now, I'm going to show you some of the things I do on the goal line. Um, I absolutely love spot routes. Um, against zone, you can throw that as a slant, a quick, a quick throw. And he's man, you want to wait till he sits down and just lowball it. Now this was the the base play. This is me showing exactly what I just mentioned. How good this is against against a user. You see, Kelsey really used out. Tyreek ends up in the middle of the end zone by himself. And if you watch it slowly, the deep dig was coming open in the back. So it's actually a really good goal line play. The old Happy Panther is now in Patriots, and it blocks really well against goal line defense. So you see everybody was manned up and I had a pulling guard. <laughs> You're not gonna get easier touchdowns than that. Now here I caught the iPhone Z close. I really like these runs. Um, the HB blast and I think it's HB ISO. Which is basically dive. But I saw cover zero here. And I know I have these two cross rounds. There's no way you don't stop um, these two cross rounds out of cover zero. And a lot of people are gonna call cover zero when they see you in a run formation down here. So that's just easy, easy money. Back to that iPhone Z close. Now I think here I actually do run the ball. Yeah. This, so this is the blast actually I think it is. You get good block and run it right up the middle. And to be honest, battle stick. I should have scored there. But that's right, just gives me a chance to do it again I guess. And I'll always hurry up. If, if I'm picking up yards running the ball down here in the end zone, I'll always hurry up and just keep picking up yards. There's, there's no reason to let the defense, your opponent adjust to something that is working. Now we close. This is a favorite of mine. I, I really like this. And any formation that gives me a fullback dive, I, I really enjoy in goal line situations because fullback dives are good at almost every year, I want to say. So you see right here, we just gonna grab this thing and hammer it home. But now, we also got a really good halfback run out of this. I think it's called Gut. Let's see. Yes, yeah. I come out in power, but I'm going to switch to the halfback Gut. And if you motion over the weak side receiver, you actually get a pretty good block. See, you see that? He's a good lead blocker, huh? That gets me down to the one yard line. So I'll just run fullback dive again. And like I said, I'm going to hurry up. I'm going to know how to. You're in a defense that I can beat. I'm not going to let you adjust and make me have to think about it. But they actually did a good job shooting the gap there. So that gave me an opportunity to try something else. This bench switch play. High low. Very easy. Very easy high low over here. And, and you're sending a blitz. So they're both open. So that's a touchdown. See, so these are, you got a lot of options at the goal line. And I do use the, the actual goal line play some as well. I mean, I use dive, and I use uh, the one that has tight end on the corner. That's actually my money goal line play. Now let's see what else we got going on. Um, okay, so we're going on the fullback dive again. This time with some success, because we got stopped last time. And that's pretty much it, man. So there may or may not be a second part, but this really encompasses the offense. It's great. Thanks for thanks again, y'all. I appreciate you guys, man. Um, it's it's been a pleasure.